Welcome to a third example of solving a two-step equation with fractions. In this video, we'll solve the given equation by leaving the fractions in the equation and solving it just like any other two-step equation. However, in another video, we will solve the same equation by eliminating the fractions from the equation and then solving for x. So you may also want to watch that video as well. Looking at the given equation, notice that x is on the left side of the equation, which means in order to solve this equation for x, we want the equation to be in the form of x equals some number or some fraction. So remember, to solve a two-step equation, the first step will be to add or subtract to isolate the variable term, and then multiply or divide to solve for the variable. And then we'll also check our solution. So going back to our equation, Notice that this is a positive two-thirds, and this negative four-fifths is attached to the x by multiplication. So for the first step, we're going to undo this positive two-thirds by subtracting two-thirds on both sides of the equation. So we would have two-thirds, and then minus two-thirds. Notice this would be zero. And then we still have minus four-fifths x, equals one-sixth minus two-thirds. Notice we subtracted two-thirds on both sides of the equation, and this difference here would be zero. So now we have negative four-fifths x equals this difference here. To perform this subtraction, we have to obtain a common denominator, which would be the least common multiple of three and six. And since three times two is equal to six, the LCD is six, so for two-thirds, we'll multiply this by two over two. Notice how we do have a common denominator of six now. Then looking at the numerators, we would have one minus four, since two times two is equal to four, and one minus four is equal to negative three. So negative three-six is equal to negative one-half. So let's go ahead and simplify this now. We would have negative four-fifths x equals negative one-half. Here we just divided out the common factor of three. Now remember, our goal here is to solve for x. Right now we have negative four-fifths times x. So we might be thinking that we should divide by negative four-fifths. But remember, instead of dividing by a fraction, we normally multiply by the reciprocal. So instead of dividing by negative four-fifths, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal, which would be negative five over four. So we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by negative five-fourths. Notice on the left side, five over five simplifies to one, and so does four over four. Negative one times negative one is positive one, so the left side is one x, or just x. And on the right side, Nothing simplifies, so we have negative one times negative five, that's five. And the denominator we have two times four, or eight. So our solution is x equals five-eighths. To verify this solution, we'll now substitute five-eighths for x in the original equation to make sure it satisfies the equation. We'd have two-thirds minus four-fifths times x, which is five-eighths, equals one-sixth. So we have two-thirds. This would be minus, this simplifies. There's one four and four, and two fours and eight. Five over five simplifies to one, so it's minus one-half, equals one-sixth. Let's rewrite both of these fractions with a denominator of six. Let's so multiply this by two over two, since three times two is six. Multiply this fraction by three over three, since two times three is six. So we have four six minus three six, which does equal one sixth. Therefore, our solution is correct. Okay, that's gonna do it for this example. But again, we are gonna solve the same equation again by first clearing the fractions from the equation, and what we'll find is, of course, we'll have the same solution. I hope you found this helpful.